Hey everyone, Josh here, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a fairly small car boot haul video for you. I'm afraid it just wasn't that great on Sunday. Uh, hopefully this week will be a bit, a bit better. The weather seems to be a lot brighter, a lot sunnier. So I'm hoping it'll bring out a lot more of the average everyday sellers rather than the traders because I've seen their stuff about six weeks now. <laughs> We're getting to that stage where it's just the same people week after week after week and that's when it kind of goes downhill a little bit. So. Fingers crossed it's better, but I still grabbed some good stuff and I'll show you what I got. A Blizzard Beach Disney takeaway. I think they're firmest to keep them cold rather than hot. Uh, mug. I'm pretty sure Blizzard Beach is closed now. Isn't that the water park they closed a while ago? It's worth about £10 anyway, so that was a good filler bag pick up. Filler bag for those who are you, of you are new is a big... Uh, Big area on the floor of about 30 bags and boxes where you rummage and you fill up a bag for life for three pounds. The stuff in those bags has come from house clearances, charity shops, um, you know, you name it, it's probably in there. The guy does all sorts. Um, so yeah, you have a good rummage and sometimes you find some gems. I got two Caribbean Beach, again, from us kind of travelly mug things from Disney. Haven't been able to find these on eBay as of yet. I'm hoping £10 each or £10 for the pair. I'm still happy with £10 for the pair and that's £20 then on a £3 investment. So yeah, hopefully they're going to carry the filler bag. But if not, I managed to find a Speed Stacks mat and Speed Stacks themselves. So I think they're selling for between £15 and £20 at the minute. So I have quite a few higher value items this week, which is really, really helpful. Um, it's always nicer to add some higher end stuff to your shop because uh, my average selling price I think is about £9 so I want to boost it up to about the £11, £12 mark by the end of the year. So speed sacks, always a great pickup. And to find them and fill a bag, even better. I did have to rummage. It took me about five minutes to go through about 15 different bags to find all the cups but we got there. Something else I have not picked up for a while, a mechanical ice cream scoop. These sell amazingly well. I can never keep them in stock long enough when I find them. If they're on a stall, I pay no more than a pound and they sell for between 10 and 15 pounds, depending on the brand, the color, the style. When you do your research into them, you'll see what I mean by the, you know, that sort of stuff. This one is American one. It will go for about 12 pounds, but again, 10 P into 12, happy all day long. For one pound, a non filler bag item, one of these green glass uh, drip effect. I don't, I'm sure there's a name for them. To me, they're drip vases because if you think of a, a droplet going into the water, it splashes up. And to me, that's like the sploosh. I'm sure there's a name for them. I paid a pound, they go for about seven to ten, depending on the color and the size. Just a bog standard item I've sold before, really. I got some mugs, a Vintage Rolo mug, and I know it's vintage because the bottom has the old Made in England stamp marking. Uh, I think Tams in Staffordshire used to use something like that. I've been looking out, well, wanting to look out for some EPNS sugar spoons. I keep picking up sugar pots that need a spoon, or they it, they would sell better with a spoon, basically. Um, so I've been keeping an eye out for some and I found some. I'm going to probably start a little collection of EPNS uh, silverware for, you know, uh, sugar bowls and that sort of stuff. I think it would just come in handy. So it's always worth thinking ahead sometimes. And some more chocolate and jelly molds. I've bundled these up for years. You get 10 to 15 pounds for about 10 of them. They sell really, really easily. They cost me nothing if I just throw it in a filler bag. Filler bag item. Top Cat, not something I've seen that much of. Uh, it's in great condition. There's just one little scuff mark there. It's by Vitamin T brand. Never heard of it. It's a nice wash bag. Aim for 10, maybe a little bit more because it's Top Cat. We'll see, but a good pickup anyway. Another mug, <laughs> only grabbed it because Oscar and Bromley sounds like a really posh, fancy name. I don't know, it might be, it might not be, but Oscar and Bromley sounded posh, so I grabbed it. It's a fine bone china mug. Uh, it's got a nice floral on it. If it's not anything fancy, I'll try and sell it for a fiver. I think the flower print will sell that one. 
a pineapple shaped bud vase and it's pineapple shaped because it goes whoosh and then this is the leafy bit on the top it's a very odd colour it's like a mustard green not something that I think is going to sell quite quickly but it's got a sticker and that means it take me about five seconds to list it so I will grab it anyway and it was fill a bag and it cost me 10p and you might as well throw it in but yeah I love pottery it sells really really well but again, you do sometimes rely on it to be in fashion or in season colours or styles to really push the item. Something a little bit older, a 1986 Flintstones mug. Really a nice condition, apart from a teeny tiny little chip to the base and some silver spoon marks in there. But I think that will sell for about £12. And another mug, we have a Danone uh, Gardener mug, just a nice novelty one. Again, we'll sell for about 12 to 15 pounds. That'd be a good gift for a gardener. And for one pound, a Eternal Bow Tea Stand by Cloverleaf. These only sell for about four pounds plus postage. However, they will only last for about two weeks before they sell. I listed this yesterday and it's got six watches on already. So it's a very small profit, but it's a fast profit. And that's why I keep picking them up. And for two pounds at the trench lane car boot, I got a large salt pig with a lovely pink floral on it. Aim for about 20 to 30 on this one. Salt pigs are a little bit more harder to price and it very much depends on the color and whatever is on it's so the pattern or the print. A beige with a pink floral might do better than some others, so I'll aim for 25, I think, plus postage. And the lovely Carla, because she loves me so much, she grabbed me some Pyrex, and I love her for doing it. She got me a blue iris serving bowl. This was sell for 10 pounds plus postage. A smaller, Blue Iris casserole and lid. That will sell for hopefully £12 plus postage. And a much larger Blue Iris casserole and lid will sell for about £17 plus postage. So Carla spent £2 on that. Absolute great pickup. Thank you and I love you to bits. And I've just noticed I missed this bit. It's a Royal Worcester pie dish or flan dish. I think I'm going to sell it as a trinket dish as well because it's got a nice floral inside. Only about five to seven pounds. They're really not worth a lot these days. But I'm gonna quickly mention Pyrex because it's interesting. And I think if you pick up in the wild, you need to know this good bit of information. Pyrex dish on its own with no lid, about seven pounds, usually between five and 10. If you add a lid to it, an official Pyrex lid, you've about doubled your money. It will go for uh, about 12 to 20. So there's a reason why I pick up the spare and replacement Pyrex lids. I list them in my eBay shop because if they sell, great. But if I pick up Pyrex and I need one and I've got it listed, I can just delist it, whack it on the top. Uh, I see some people picking up the Pyrex without lids. And while she'll still make some money, definitely the lid that sells it. People really do want to buy it with the lids and they are willing to pay more to get you know them both together in one order. So definitely worth keeping it out for the Pyrex lids and the casserole dishes together. So yeah, just including that at the end because I know some people ask about how to sell it better. Lids, lids, lids. And if you can get a full set of free, uh, the small, medium and large casserole dish, they fly out at a much better price as well. So I'm gonna love you and leave you and get this all listed. I'm sorry the video is a bit later this week. I will hopefully be back on track next week and I'll see you all very soon.